Name of our story is called Song and Dance Man, written by Karen Ackerman, illustrated by Stephen Gamel, and published by Alfred A. Knopf. And this story is about a grandpa who used to do a lot of dances in what was called the vaudeville days. And that was a long, long time ago when people would dance on stage and he would do tap dances. And a tap shoe is a shoe that has metal plates put on the bottom of the shoe. So when you dance, it makes a clickety clack sound. Now, as kids, um, even I'm sure when I was a little kid, some kids would do this. They would put, and if you can see this, this is a little bottle cap. A bottle cap is something, this is some of my favorite root beer. And this is um, a bottle cap. Instead of a, a screw on cap, this is a glass bottle. The companies would put a bottle cap on it. Well, sometimes kids would use these little bottle caps just like this. And they would put that on the bottom of their shoes and attach it. And when they would walk, it'd make a clickety-clack kind of sound, just like I did right there. So that talks about that in the story. And the song and dance man is a good, good grandpa. And we have been talking this week and last week about letter G. So come and listen to my story. Song and Dance Man, written by Karen Ackerman. Grandpa was a song and dance man who once danced on the vaudeville stage. And when we visit, he tells us about a time before people watched TV, back in the good old days, the song and dance days. Supper in a half an hour, Grandma calls from the kitchen. I wonder if my tap shoes still fit, Grandpa says with a smile. And then he turns on the light to the attic, and we follow him up the steep wooden stairs. Now, in older houses, there, there were storage rooms above the house called an attic. And sometimes you could take the stair steps all the way up there. And kind of how people will store things in their basements, they would put them in their attics. Well, faded posters of when Grandpa, when he was a young man, hung on the walls. He moved some of the cardboard boxes and a rack of Grandma's winter dresses out of the way. And we see a dusty brown leather trim trunk in the corner. So here's the old posters of Grandpa, and there's all the costumes. And this is that old leather steam trunk with all kinds of costumes in it. And as soon as Grandpa opens it, the smell of cedar chips and old things fills the attic. Inside are his shoes with the silver half-moon taps on the toes and heels, the bowler hats and the top hats, and the vests with stripes and matching bow ties. We try on the hats and pretend that we're dancing on a vaudeville stage, where the bright lights twinkle and the piano player nods his head, along with the music. So see, here's his grandkids, and they're pretending that they're on the stage too. And after wiping his shoes with a cloth called a chamois, Grandpa puts them on, and he tucks small white pads inside his shoes so the corns, it's kind of like hard blisters, won't rub. And he turns on the lamp, and he aims each one down like a spotlight. So Grandpa in the story is pretending he's on stage. He sprinkled a little powder on the floor, and it's showtime. We sit in on one of Grandma's wooden blankets, clap our hands, and call out, Yay, Grandpa! And the song and dance man begins to dance the old soft shoe. His feet move slowly at first, and while his tap shoes make a soft, slippery sound like a rain on the tin roof, we forget that it's Grandpa's dancing, and we all can hear the silvery tap of two feet. And we all can see that it is a song and dance man gliding across the vaudeville stage. And there he is all dressed up in his outfit. He says, watch this. And he does a step that sounds like a woodpecker tapping on a tree. Suddenly, his shoes move faster. And he begins to sing. His voice is as round and strong as a canyon echo. And his cheeks get rosy as he sings, Yankee Doodle Boy and a song he knows from the good old days. And there are too many dance steps and too many words in the song for us to remember. But the show is better than any show on TV. The song and dance man stops and leans forward with a wink. What's that in your ear, he said, and he pulled the silver dollar out of somebody's hair. 
and he rolls his bowler hat down his arm and catches it on his hand and flips it back on his head. Know how to make an elephant float, he asked. One scoop of ice cream and two squirts of soda and three scoops of elephant. We've heard that joke before, but the song and dance man slaps his knee and his eyes laugh with filled with water. And he tries to wipe them with the red hanky from his vest pocket, but the hanky just gets longer and longer and longer as he pulls it out. He looks so surprised that we start laughing too, and he feels like the whole attic is shaking. And sometimes we laugh so hard the hiccups start, and Grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water from the bathroom. Drink slow and hold your breath, he says. Or I'll have to scare you. That's always, that's an old trick. That if you get the hiccups, you drink a glass of water. And once our hiccups are gone, he gets on his golden tipped cane and a black silk top hat from the trunk. And he lowers his eyes and tips the hat. And he's standing very still. All those lights are turned low except one hat that shines on his polished tap shoes. It's the grand finale. So the song and the dance man takes a deep breath. He lifts the cane and holds it in both hands. Slowly, he starts to tap. His shoes move faster and faster, and the sounds coming from them are too many to make with only two feet. And he spins and jumps into the air, touching the stage again, and he kneels with his arms spread out, and the silk top hat and the gold-tipped cane lie side by side at his feet. And his shoes are still, and the show is over. And we stand up and clap our hands, shouting hooray and more. But Grandpa only smiles and shakes his head all out of breath. He takes off his tap shoes, wraps them gently in the chamois cloth, and puts them back in the leather trim trunk. He carefully folds up his vest and lays the top hat and cane on it. And we follow him to the stairway. And Grandpa holds onto the rail as we go down the steps. And at the bottom, he hugs us. And we tell him we wish that we could have seen him danced in the good old days and the song and dance days. He smiles and whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days that he spends with us now. But as he turns off the attic light, Grandpa glances back up the stairs. And we wonder how much he really misses that time on the vaudeville stage when he was a song and dance man. So that's the story of the song and dance man. And remember, good, good grandma and good, good grandpa begin with G. So it's just a fun, I, this is one of my fun stories that I like to read. Thank you. Have a great day.